This video will cover the 3D Section View feature. During the design process, there is often a need to see only a portion of the internal workings of a design. 3D Section View does not actually change the features that have already been created, but it does allow you to view the design in a different way. Once you leave the Section View, the design will look as it originally did prior to the Section View. To insert a Section View, on the Viewing and Analysis ribbon, Click on Section View and the 3D Section View dialog will be displayed. In the 3D Section View dialog box, there are a couple of different options you can select. Since this is only a part, the part to section will already be populated. This will be different for an assembly, however. For the slicing plane, you will need to select the face or plane you want to use. The arrows indicate the portion of the material that will be left on the screen. Everything behind the arrows will not be shown. If the section view is going in the wrong direction, just click on the reverse icon. If you wish to offset the slicing plane a certain distance from the selected plane, that value can be inserted in the offset text box. In the Design Explorer, you can see the newly created section view. To see the entire model without the section view, right click on the section view icon in the Design Explorer and uncheck View. This will hide the section view and return the model to its original state. If another section view is needed, following the same steps will produce another section view. Any additional section views will be listed sequentially in the Design Explorer and can be viewed at any time. In the Design Explorer, right click on the section view that you want to display and select View. If you need to make changes to a section view, if the section is not already active, that is, if it is not in view, right-click on the section in the Design Explorer and click on View. Right-click once again on the section in the Design Explorer and left-click on Edit. Edit the desired values. Click Apply and then click Close. This same sectioning behavior applies to assemblies as well as parts. The difference being that with an assembly you will need to indicate which parts in the assembly are to be included in the section view. Select the individual part by clicking on it in the Design Explorer, or select multiple parts and or sub-assemblies using the Control key or Shift key methods in the Design Explorer in the same way you typically do with any list of items in the Microsoft Windows system. In this case, we're going to include all the parts and sub-assemblies in the assembly. The main shaft is selected in the Design Explorer, the Shift key on the keyboard is held down, and when the propeller assembly is selected, the entire list is selected. Now Section View is clicked on the Viewing and Analysis ribbon. In the Section View dialog, you can see the list of selected parts. Click once in the Slicing Plane box if it is not already active, if it doesn't have the focus, and select the desired sectioning plane. Click Apply. It may take a moment for the sectioning process to run to completion with an assembly consisting of several parts. There are a lot of calculations involved. When the sectioning process is completed, click Close. In this video, you learned how to use a Libre Designs 3D Section View feature. You saw that this feature can be used on individual parts as well as assemblies. You learned that editing an existing section view is easily accomplished.